Bryson DeChambeau has officially won the over. He might be the hottest thing in golf right now. As it turns out, Bryson and I have a lot in common. Besides growing crazy YouTube followings, we're both in the Dallas, Texas area. We've both been called mad scientists for our engineering and analytical minds. We've both won major championships at Pinehurst, mine, coming on the Golf Channel Am Tour back in 2013. And we've both played Coyote Ridge in Carrollton, Texas. This little gem was the focus of Bryson's latest, breaking public records challenge. And I just so happened to have played that golf course all the way back in June. I put up a pretty good little number, by the way, but we'll see that at the end of the video. So I thought it'd be fun to play a little 1v1. Let's see just how much better Bryson is than a scratch handicap. What do you say, Bryson? Okay, I got this, let's do it. Just a little four hybrid, trying to lay up short of that bunker. That's perfect. Just a little left. That's so close. Now I chose to lay up off the first tee with just a four hybrid. It gets pretty narrow up there, but I'll have just a wedge in. 67 yards. What a weird lie. Get down. 22 yards. It's a good lie. Downwind, downhill. Oh my gosh, that's so soft. Bryson was more aggressive. He is trying to break the course record after all, but after two shots, I've got the closer birdie look. 12 feet, a little right to left. 18 feet. And bumpity, bumpity, go. plinko -y. Easy par. That's not good. Thank goodness. Jeez. We both make pars, mine a little bit more stress-free, but I'm also not trying to break the course record. Bryson needs birdies, and I'm just playing my game, trying to score my best. But after one hole, I'm tied with the big hitter. I keep waiting by my phone for Liv to call me. I can play. Wind's a little off the right end. That'll work. Easy driver. Let's go. We get straight into scoring holes with the par five second. A fairly generous landing area and both Bryson and I pump drives right down the middle. We're practically twins. 215 hole, 194 to get there. But we're gonna do it, four hybrid. See if we can dance. Oh, get down. It's 213 into the wind uphill. No, Softly. Six turns right. I'm not swinging right, very fast chipping right now. Oh, that looks good. That's good. Good shot. Now's we're gonna see us start to separate. I had 215 yards in, he had 213 yards in, but I'm hitting a four hybrid and he's only hitting a six iron. At this point, I'm glad he agreed to give me a tee box. And we both hit good shots into this green. Stock little shot. Too hard. Go in. 20 footer Ooh. up to 3%. Ooh. Slow. Goes right. Ah. Both with decent eagle looks. Mine from just off the green that I almost jar. He gives his eagle putt a great look. There she is. Birdie. Almost yep. three putted. Wow, I almost took the lead if he three putts that hole. It's an all around great putt from Bryson, which means we leave the second hole all knotted up. I still can't believe my phone's not ringing. Caddy says it plays like 205. I'm at five iron. Oh, I flushed it, but pulled it. 240, so I'm gonna hit a nice little smooth Bunker. six iron in there. No, stop. Sit. Man, am I glad I didn't have to play from 240 yards because this is a tough par three. It was difficult enough that Bryson also missed the green, which means we're both scrambling for par. There's not really a good place to miss. Oh, I duffed it. 
Not the not worst great. miss. 20, 30 yard shot here. As far as misses go, Bryson had the easier shot here, but he also wasn't too far from going over the cart path and bringing out of bounds into play. This is where pros are gonna start to separate. I've missed the green and hit a poor bunker shot. It's time to see if I can scramble. Scrambling here. Go hard. Three, 10 feet. All right. All right, well, that's a big save. Tough hole. That was a really good par there, Chase. I'll say that's awesome. Getting up and down from a tricky situation with, you know, not so fortunate of a break. So there's the difference. Bryson makes a 10-footer. I fail to get up and down. He takes a one-shot lead at one under while I fall back to even. Look, even a pro is only gonna make Bryson's putt half the time. So I feel like he stole one on me. I'm still in this. Par five. Gotta stay to the left. There's a big valley to the right. That's a little more left than I wanted. I gotta make Should be alright. This is just imperative. Get right. All right, that should be good. We both smoked it down the middle on four. We're basically twins again, and we should both have a shot into this green to hit the par five and two. Little risk reward shot, 168 to the hole, 168? over water. It definitely takes decision making off the table. I gotta go, let's go. Into the wind though. Oh, I like the line. 156, all right, what's the wind doing? And it's just a little bit off the right. All right, play a little pitching wedge here. It's a big moment. This is a tough shot here, folks. All right, I'm gonna play a little draw here. Oh my gosh, that's short. How cool is that? Not only do we both hit good shots into this green, but if you listen to our thought process and the way we go through our pre-shot routine, Factoring in the wind, very similar. And we were actually hitting from very similar distances in. I was hitting a seven iron from 168, while he's hitting a wedge from 156. And I'll just ignore the fact that his drive went roughly 80 yards longer than mine, just from a further tee box. I might've mishit mine just a little. I didn't, I flushed that. He's really long. 42 feet just off the green for a big bird. Let's see if we can make one. Right over the mark. Good pace. 30 footer. This one's for you. Good Adam. pace. I called it, I missed it right. This putter rolls nice. Look at us, doing it again. Two birdies on the par five. He gets to keep his one up lead and move to two under, and I move to one under through four holes. I am right on his heels at this point. I've got this. I'm just saying, Bryson, if you ever want to play a match and spot me a tee box or two, I'm game. And if that doesn't deserve a like, then at least comment below and tell me how I'm doing and where you think we'll finish. That is perfect. Smoked. 420 yard hole. Follow that one, boys. Oh, what was that bounce? Look, I can hit 300 plus yard drives too. I'm no slouch, and I only got out driven by about 35 yards here. I'm sure I'm gonna clip him on one of these holes. I just need to hit a sprinkler head. 315 yards, that'll do. Just 90 left. Be the number. 85 yards, nah, this is at 10 o'clock. Okay, land it right next to it. Give us a good chance for birdie.
Go. That's super short. 90 versus 85 yards in. Again, we have very similar distances into the green despite playing different tee boxes. And again, I clipped him. I actually hit it 10 feet closer on this green. So it's not like for any given shot that the pros are untouchable. They're just so consistent and they do it time and time again. But what I found most interesting was listen to our routines. Again, very similar. We're both getting super committed and giving ourselves great swing dots right before we hit the ball. A little behind center. Just a little 56. Let's get a birdie putt. 85 yards. Land it right next to it. Give yourself a good chance for birdie. 15 feet, downhill, down green. Maybe a little right to left. Oh. Make a long one here. What do you say, partner? 24 feet on the right-hand side of it. Two easy pars, Bryson is lucky to keep his one-shot lead, and I'm not going anywhere. All right, short par four. Crush one at the flag, hyper focused. Oh no, that's wet. This 388, 377. This one pumped us out there 340, 350. Give myself a good look at Eagle. Ah, it's right of it. Dang it. Spoke too soon. There's my first big mistake. This was not a hard tee shot and blocking it that far right should have never happened. But Bryson honestly hit a very similar tee shot. He's just a lot longer and was able to easily carry the water and stay out of big trouble. Think I'm overstating that? I don't think so. Listen to Bryson tell you himself. Didn't draw it enough back into the wind. I'm trying to look at the positives. I didn't hit that bad of a drive, just didn't start it far enough left. Same, Bryson, same. Unfortunately, I'm wet and I'm gonna have to re -tee. Only shot you can't hit. That's better. Been nice to do that the first time. Oh well, move on. 77 yards. Just a little wedge, up and down, make our par. Two out, three. I need to hold this for par. How often do you think Bryson needs his fingers to count up his score? I don't hate it. Be the number. 50 yard shot. Be the number. Too far. Bryson with a mediocre wedge there. It gets tough to score when you're out of position, but he still has me in a tough spot. Might be a little deep, but I think we got a putt. Putt for bogey. Try to save one, best we can do. This is pretty straight. I don't think it does much. Straight and firm. Well, I got the line. That's a pretty good I haven't had the line five. right all day, so hopefully this line's correct. My well, line was right. Chase, it's not looking good. Bryson makes an easy par to extend to a two shot lead, but I'm hanging in there. All things considered, that was a second ball birdie for me. If I eliminate the water ball, that's a birdie and I'd be tied with Bryson. Seriously, that water ball is the difference six holes in. 135. Oh, I felt that wind kick up. Be the club. Be the club. Be the club. Holy. <laughs> that was close. Gosh, it seems like it's helping, but I just don't know if it is. This is one of the tougher shots of the challenge so far. 152, just, just over 10 o'clock. Just over 10 o'clock here. I think it's just a left to right win. Now we're talking, I almost hold that shot. Right over the flagstick to five feet. Bryson mentioned just how tough that shot was, and I'm inside him with a great look for birdie to chip into his two shot lead. Just put it in the hole next time? That was close, I was trying. I was drooling over that one. Caddy got that number right, goodness. I'm telling you, I think if those greens aren't punched, that spins back. 
I think that spins back and has a chance. 27 feet. I mean, dude, this has got to be all the way out here. Down and breaking pretty hard. Go! Are you kidding me? Oh no, what an awful stroke. Hit it off the toe, that was a bad stroke. Bummer. Well, I let Bryson off the hook there. I should have made that putt to chip into the lead. I was gonna blame the aerated greens, but you just heard me complain about what an awful stroke that was. So that happens. You're not gonna make every birdie look that you get. But the green still didn't help. Otherwise, I'd be beating Bryson right now. I promise. All right. Show you how it's done, Robert. My cameraman's camera died, but we'll keep on going. The only place you can't go on number eight is left, which is probably why I hit this weak this is block number out eight. to the right. This is downwind, Chase. I truly believe I can get there today. What's the distance? 385. Oh yeah. 385 is totally in my wheelhouse too. I was gonna try to drive the green, I just, came up 70 yards short. But hey, Bryson and I both blocked it that? to the right, so we're twins again. Probably because we were trying to avoid the water on the left. See, we think a lot alike. This is looking grim. I've got a tree in my way, short-sided over a bunker. So I'm a little scared and take the chicken's way out, hit it right of the bunker, right of the tree. And I'll have a chip from the apron for birdie. Get in. If you're placing your bets right now, which one of us do you think makes birdie? Despite missing the green, this is a pretty standard pitch. I like to hit a de-lofted 56. I hit my spot and trickle, trickle, trickle. Trust me, I've been waiting for it all day too. All right, it's left edge here, five feet. Easy. There we go. Three under, through eight. So that was a trick question. We both make birdie. Bet you didn't see that coming. That gets me back to one under and Bryson's at three under. So I'm two shots back heading into the last hole. It's the last hole because I only filmed nine holes. I did play 18 on this day. I can tell you what I shot later. But since we only got nine holes on film, this will be a nine hole match. The ninth hole is a super tight part four. The tangent AI caddy was telling me to hit an iron, but I'm trying to catch Bryson. So I got to go big, right? No, left straight into the water. Well, it's an interesting hole. Normally I'd be playing like a nice little iron down the right hand side. Because driver's a bad idea. But I need a nice little wedge in. Normally I wouldn't go for this. This should be perfect. Now I'm pretty sure his ball's out of bounds. There might not be stakes up where Bryson hit, but the driving range is to your right. So anywhere us mere mortals hit it, you probably see the stakes. I'll give Bryson the benefit of the doubt, and this is about to be a really cool shot. I gotta take a drop in front of the lake and start scrambling again. Mistakes hurt, otherwise I'd still be in this match. It's a six iron in, and at this point, I'm just trying to make bogey. The ball bounds to the back of the green. I don't think it's out of bounds either, which is funny. I'm just glad I didn't hit anybody. This is sick, look at this, look behind. There's a flag. 81 yards. The reality is we both played this hole too aggressively. It's bounce pretty hard. Hit an iron have a wedge. Instead, I'm in the water and he's in a parking lot. Man, is he lucky because if that ball is out of bounds, I would have beat him. Props to Bryson for playing it there and hitting it on the green. That was not an easy shot. Now he's got a birdie look while I'm scrambling. I have a very long putt for par and really I'm just trying to get the pace right. Lucky for me, I get it just about perfect and have an easy tap in bogey to shoot even par through the front uh, I still got a 20 footer for birdie. Oh my God. Oh, that's so stupid. I should have laid back chase. Yeah, I could have made double really easily. I'm lucky there was no out of bounds over there to the right. So Bryson escapes with par, and just when you thought this video was over, we get to the fun part. Let's see just how I stack up 
against Bryson DeChambeau. If you just look at the scorecard, we actually birdied the same holes. Two par fives and the par four eight. That's pretty cool. The difference is that I also had three bogeys, including two water balls. I preach bogey avoidance, and you can see in this case that bogeys are really what killed me in this match against Bryson. If I eliminate those, we tie for nine holes. Let's take it a step further. We can use the tangent comparison mode to compare Bryson and I side by side for strokes gained, driving distance, and more. Bryson whooped me in total strokes gained, which makes sense as it correlates to score. So he gained 3.7 strokes to an elite amateur, while I gained 0.4. But where did he do his damage? With his driver, of course. Bryson is solid in every category, but he gained over a full shot off the tee. Compare that to me losing 3.2 strokes on this round, and yeah, two water balls will do that. Moving to approach, I wasn't as bad as normal. I gained 0.3 strokes, but Bryson is easily half a shot better with his irons. Now, I was actually better around the greens, the chip in really helped, and with putting. The putting largely comes from a back nine that you didn't see here, where I made some long putts. I gained zero strokes putting on the front nine. A quick look at some other stats, 290 yards off the tee versus 352 is crazy. Now, I did hit several non-drivers, but it doesn't matter. He's gonna outdrive me by over 50 yards on average. That's wild. I did hit more fairways, but interesting enough, our driver dispersion was pretty similar between five and six degrees offline. He hit more greens, I scrambled better. All in all, most of the stats are closer than I would have guessed, but his driving is an absolute weapon. That was fun, Bryson, and if you ever want to do it in person, I'm in the Dallas area. Just let me play the ladies' tee box and it might be an actual match. Smash that like and subscribe harder than Bryson smashes his drives, and I'll see you on the next one.